right, everybody, good afternoon. Today we've got a Freightliner DD15 EPA 10. So it's got the Def Liquid on there. And it's actually a 2012, 2013. Now we were getting some fault codes, some check engine lights up there on the top, okay? Telling us for the EGR differential pressure sensor. So I went ahead and swapped it out. It's a pretty easy thing to do, something you can do yourself. Now, one thing I do believe you're going to need to do is calibrate, okay? So you have to calibrate that sensor. And I believe the only way to do it, unless you guys know of another way, but the only way to do it is by using your software from your Triple DL, okay? That's your Detroit Diesel Diagnostic Link. So right now, I've already got it connected. Let me just run up here really quick, give me a second. And I still got the malfunction light. Let's see what we have searching here. See if you can see that there, differential pressure. And we still got two fault codes, but that's because I disconnected it earlier and it's triggering that. But right now, again, you gotta launch the software. The software's launching. Let's see what, uh, what happens here. You need to calibrate it, like I said. Click on OK and everything should start connecting. You'll notice that on your left where the status is. Okay, you're gonna see a little yellow, yellow, and then green, green, green once everything is connected. Okay, so right now the MCM is telling us currently, let's see, what the hell do we have? Let's see what's going on. Fault codes, permanent. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go to my actions. I'm gonna go to my EGR. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm gonna try and hold it still for you guys. And I wanna go to calibration. Click on calibration, click on really self-explanatory click on yes and let's see what it says auto completion wonderful so it looks like we are calibrated now our delta p sensor or our exhaust egr delta pressure sensor is now calibrated okay so i'm going to start the engine and let's see what we find so really quick i want to add this to the video of the exhaust differential pressure sensor or the delta p sensor so here's our new sensor that's already installed it comes with a new little pigtail. As you can see, it's all color coded. See, three, three wires in, three wires out, same color. It comes with the butt connectors and those are also heat shrink. So when you install them, use a little torch or a little lighter, melt them down and you're gonna secure it. Now this one I'm just showing you for illustration. Later I'm gonna put some lume on it and make it look a lot nicer. But anyway, that's your Delta P sensor or exhaust differential pressure sensor for a DD15 on a Freightliner Cascadia. Okay, so as of right now, we started up the engine. We're at about 125, and we're gonna stay here and try and warm it up even more. Maybe even try and do a regen to see how the ETR valve and the Delta P sensor are gonna work. Currently, if we go over to our instrumentation and we go to our ETR, you can see what it's commanding, and you can see what the PSI is. So it's 0 0.37, 0 0.36, thereabouts. And as soon as you accelerate, You'll see right now I'm about five, 600 RPMs. I'm gonna accelerate till it's almost about a thousand and you're gonna see the PSI will drop, okay? So, so far so good. Like I said, I'm gonna do a regen or at least start trying to do a regen and let's see what other pressures come up and hopefully that'll either trigger another check engine light or hopefully that will verify that the, that the repairs have been made properly. So if the repairs are made properly, then this itself should go away to previously active. Right now it's permanent, okay? Even though we have nothing showing up on our dash, it's still gonna show up on permanent. So let's go ahead and try and start doing a regen and uh, we'll see what we find. All right, so currently we are still in a regen process. We're just a little under 200 degrees, which is good. That means our engine is right where it needs to be as far as the temperature goes. Our DOC inlet and outlet, okay, those are rising exactly where they need to be. Inlet is about 600 degrees, outlet 977, and the DPF outlet is 987. Now those two, okay, the 900s, those need to be about the same. In other words, the temperatures need to rise together. DLC is typically a lot lower, okay? As you can see, there are there's our doser. Our doser is working just, just right. We are in an active regen, okay? Our DLC pressures are good, okay, they're not too high. I'm just gonna go back really quick just to confirm here that our EGR, okay, our EGR there is our PSI. So it looks like we're, we did it, we, we managed to swap out our EGR, 
delta pressure sensor successfully. Okay, the only other thing you may want to look at is make sure that your customer has the latest software when it comes to their MCM and their ACM. If you're out of an older software, that kind of makes the regen process and other components not work like they should. So that's pretty much it for this one. Real simple how to swap out your EGR delta pressure sensor or differential pressure sensor. If you guys have any questions, hit me up, let me know. Uh, again, thanks for watching.